First of all, Jet, how are you, mate? Yeah, as good as I can be. Uh, it's been a long, what, I guess 11 days now, but uh, happy to be back in Hobart, starting the recovery process. Um, yeah, everybody's been first class helping getting the surgery sorted, um, getting us back to Hobart to begin with, and um, yeah, just happy to be on the road to recovery. Might go back to the start, I guess, and, and the incident, I suppose. Um, run us through it. I suppose you put your body on the line, as we saw. But did you feel at that moment how bad it was going to be? Um, I knew something was wrong. Uh, yeah, kind of was on the ground there and felt like my cheek was in my mouth. So I knew that wasn't normal. Um, didn't really know what to ext what to what extent. Um, but uh, yeah, got to the hospital later that night and confirmed what uh what we thought was going on have you had any injuries like this before is this brand new to you yeah never i've broken some other bones some a couple ribs and my thumb before but nothing uh facial hopefully it'll be the last time uh don't suggest it to anybody but uh, yeah it's my first experience with it what about the pain at the time just describe that i suppose yeah it wasn't um the best night of my life um, it was pretty painful um and they were I guess not until we got to the hospital and got an x-rayed that they would, uh, I guess, sub take away the pain just because they didn't know if surgery was going to be necessary right away. Um, but yeah, it was pretty painful that night and um, luckily RC was with me throughout the whole thing and uh, kind of held my hand. I was being a big baby through the whole thing. And then the process to get home, obviously a tricky one without being able to fly. That must have been difficult too, knowing it was going to be a long journey back home in that sort of pain. Yeah, uh, I was just talking with the coaching staff. Thankful we weren't in New Zealand or Cairns or Perth just to make that uh, trip a bit longer. But uh, yeah, we had to drive from Illawarra down to uh, Melbourne. Um, I guess that was 11 and a half hours and then took the Spirit down and uh, got in, what was that? Monday or Tuesday morning. Uh, yeah, it was a journey, uh, definitely a story I'll remember. Um, yeah, again, lucky to have RC by my side through the whole thing because I was being pretty wimpy throughout the whole thing with, with the pain meds and everything going on. And then you had the surgery, obviously. What, what was that to do, I guess, just to make everything back to normal, I suppose? Or? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, it doesn't look that way right now. Um, but yeah, they put three plates in, uh, hopefully to stabilize and um, yeah, just stabilize my, my facial bones. Um, there were, I guess, three different fractures along my eye socket and uh, orbital bone. But uh, yeah, everything's uh, progressing well. Met with the doctor yesterday, so uh, got the go ahead to, to be on court and to start running and ride the bike and break a sweat again. So it was a good day to be out here. From what you've heard, is this injury a common type of thing in basketball? Is it a freak accident or how? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, fairly common in basketball. I saw, you know, Jalen Brown just the other day, uh, and Keanu Pinder up in up in Kansas has gone through something similar. So uh, yeah, it happens. Um, doctor said he gets a lot of uh, footy players that come in uh, catching knees or elbows to their face. So um, yeah, I guess um, takes away the myth that basketball is not a contact sport because uh, definitely is. How have your emotions been throughout this? And I guess who have you sort of lent on to help you get through it? Yeah, all the guys have been great. Um, you know, I remember the night in the locker room after the game in Illawarra and pretty much knowing that I uh, wasn't going to be able to play in the playing game in this first series uh, was tough. But, um, you know, Magne gave me great perspective last year after he went down and all the guys rally around him. And uh, it's been the same way this year. Um, everyone's, you know, reached out and been in constant, constant contact and being able to, to talk to the guys on FaceTime and Zoom throughout their, uh, their last week has been uh, good for my mental sanity. Um, well, I forget, you had the first part of the question. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah all the guys have uh, really rallied around me and been, you know, just part of our brotherhood. Oh, was, how have you been sort of emotional? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously it's not the best timing in the world. Um, don't ever want to get hurt, but I definitely don't want to get hurt during playoffs. Uh, but it's part of the gig. You know, this is guys get hurt in the playoffs almost every year, and that's part of the job. What about um, if we do get through, mate? Are there any sneaky chance of coming back for the grand final series potentially? Or yeah, hopeful. Um, I guess we'll know more as the next week or two progresses. But uh, I think there's a chance if we can uh, find a mass that protects me and um, limits the uh, amount of impact that would have on my on my face. Um, definitely optimistic for it. That's just for the grand final series, not for game three or anything like that. No. It's too soon. Yeah. No, unfortunately yeah. not. How would you feel about wearing a mask, the mask from the jet? Would that be a new <laughs> Yeah, whatever it takes. I'd just be happy to be on the court. Whatever you know, I can do to help our team win, I'm, I'm all there for it.
JC Does spoken about you've um, been helping out a lot um, through um, game breakdown and stuff like that. What, what's your role, I guess, tomorrow night? Yeah, I guess, you know, to be as involved as I can be. You know, whatever I see on the court, obviously I'll relay to guys and uh, relay to the coaching staff, but just, you know, use my brain as much as I can and my eyes without being physically on the court and try to be as involved as I can be. Probably a hard one for you to answer because you're a modest man, but um, do you think the team's missed you out there? Have you seen moments where you think, gee, I could be out there doing this or that? Have you been watching on? Or? No, granted, I was a bit woozy watching the Cairns game. Uh, I was, you know, right out of surgery. No, they, they look great. You know, um, just got to make a few more shots tomorrow night and, um, you know, be a little more physical. But uh, I fully expect us to come out there and, and be ready to go. And does it... I mean, when you're in the, the heat of the game, I suppose, you're always going to put your body on the line, but does it have anything in the back of your mind now when you're out there that this could happen again or anything in your pullback next line or anything like that? Or? Yeah, I imagine it'll be pretty much the same way next game. Uh, I know my, my wife probably wouldn't be too happy to hear that, but next time I'm out there, you know, you just play with your instincts and, um, yeah, you make the right play. And what I did was something I've done 100 times, more than that in, the, in this season, and, um, you know, it's just one of those things that happened. Have you felt the love That's from <clears throat> the Jack Jumpers basketball community since you've been injured on, on social media? There's been a lot of love and well wishes. How have you felt that? Yeah, it's been amazing. You know, it's part of what makes uh, Tassie and, and Hobart such a special place and special community is, you know, I haven't even had a chance to respond to all the messages. It was just like flooding through and um, to be able to, to know that we're all in it together and people are thinking of me, it meant, it meant a ton. And, um, you know, something I really appreciate and cherish. Thanks so much to Spirit of Tasmania and Hobart Mazda for helping us get home.